children, let me ask you a question. Why can't a pine tree grow in desert and a cactus grow in polar regions? Ma'am, it is their home. They cannot survive other than their home. The place where living things live is known as their habitat. In order to survive in their habitat, all plants have some special features. The process of adjusting to their habitat is called adaptation. All plants are not of same kind. Some plants live on the land. Some live in water. Some float on water. Some are in deserts. Some are on mountains. And some are in cold regions. According to their habitat, plants are of two types. Terrestrial plants and aquatic plants. The plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. There are many kinds of terrestrial plants because of different types of climate and soil. Trees that shed their leaves once in a year are called deciduous trees. When it becomes very difficult for the plants to maintain water balance, they shed their leaves. Trees living in cold climate shed their leaves in winter, while trees of warm climate shed their leaves in dry season. For example, Shisham, Neem, Teak, Cassia, Amaltas, etc. Children, do you know that bamboo is not a tree, but it is a grass? It flowers only once in its lifetime. Now let us know about the plants in cold areas. In cold hilly areas such as Kashmir, Uti and Himachal Pradesh, trees grow very tall and straight. Many of them have needle-like leaves. They bear cones instead of flowers. For example, pine, cedar, spruce, fir, etc. The plants are called conifers. The area near the sea is called coastal area. In this area, water is salty and the climate is usually humid. Some plants like teak and coconut grow in this area. They are known as evergreen trees as they do not shed their leaves. Rubber, pepper and sugar canes also grow in such climate. A group of plants called mangrove grow in marshy regions. The soil of these areas is sticky, clay and covered with water. So, the roots of the plants do not get air through the soil. Therefore, the roots of these plants come out of the soil to breathe. They are called breathing roots of the plants. Plants like cactus growing in deserts use very little water and also store water in their stems. They do not lose water because their leaves are very small or spine-like. Their stems do the function of leaves by expanding, becoming flat and by containing green-colored chlorophyll to perform photosynthesis. Let us do an activity. Observe a mango tree and a cactus plant. Compare their leaves and stems. The mango tree has a green stem. Its leaves are broad unlike cactus, which has leaves modified into stem. Its stem is green in color and possesses spines. Plants which grow in water are called aquatic plants. There are three types of aquatic plants, floating, fixed and submerged underwater plants. Floating plants are light and spongy, so they can float on water. Example, small green algae, duckweed, pistia, water hyacinth, etc. Fixed plants like lotus and water lily are fixed to the bed of the pond. These plants have long stems which are hollow and light. The leaves of these plants are generally broad, floating, having stomata and waxy layer on the upper surface so that water does not block the pores. Submerged plants like deep grass and hydrilla grow below the water surface. Their narrow leaves have no stomata at all. They breathe through their body surface. They absorb carbon dioxide 
which is breathed out by aquatic animals during respiration. That is why we can use such plants in aquariums. Now let me tell you all an interesting thing. An aquatic plant having the biggest leaf is Victoria amazonica. Plants such as wheat, maize and jowar belong to the grass family plants. They provide food for human beings and animals. They are very useful to us in the following ways. Different types of grasses are used to make paper. Grasses are used to make mats, baskets, huts, etc. Grasses also hold the soil and protect it from being washed away in the rain. Do you know that some plants eat insects? Such plants are known as insectivorous plants. They trap the insects and absorb the nutrients from their bodies. These are the plants which live in the soil deficient of nutrients that are needed for the normal growth of the plants. For example, Venus flytrap plant, pitcher plant, sundew plant, etc. Venus flytrap. Whenever an insect like a fly comes and sits on its leaf, it snap shuts round the insect and traps it. Pitcher plant. The leaves of this plant are of pitcher shape with a lid. When an insect sits on the mouth of the pitcher shaped leaf, its lid shuts and the insect gets trapped inside it. Sundew plant. It traps insects on the deadly hairs that cover their leaves. The sticky drops at the end of the hair kill the insect. These plants catch insect, digest them and use the nutrients for their normal growth. Let us summarize. Plants adapt in different ways and occupy different habitats. Terrestrial plants grow on land such as plains, deserts, cold areas, coastal areas and marshy areas. Aquatic plants grow in water. Floating, fixed and submerged plants are the three types of aquatic plants. Grasses are used to make paper, mats, etc. Venus flytrap, pitcher, sundew plants are some examples of insectivorous plants.